Ants McCullers bounced back with an easy fourth inning after walking three and allowing a run to help the Astros maintain a 4-1 lead over the Los Angeles Dodgers. Seal Poog singled with one out in the inning on a grounder down the left field line that bounced off third baseman Alex Bregman's glove. But he was thrown out trying to stretch it into a double after running far past first base before making the decision to go to second. McCullers retired Logan Forsyth for the third out. Brian McCann singled with no outs in the bottom of the inning when his soft liner sailed just out of the reach of Corey Seager. But he was left stranded when Kent Maeda retired the next three, with strikeouts of George Springer and Alex Bregman, to end the inning. Lance McCullers Jr. walked the bases loaded with no outs in the third inning but escaped with just one run allowed as the Dodgers close to 4-1. Full count walks to Jock Pedersen and Chris Taylor around a four-pitch walk to number 9 hitter Enrique Hernandez set up Los Angeles for the potential of a beginning. With Brad Peacock starting to warm up, Corey Seager grounded into a 3-6-1 double play on a 1-1 curveball. McCullers just beat Seager to first base for the second out as Pedersen came home. Justin Turner followed with an inning-ending grounder. The Houston Astros had no problem hitting Yu Darvish in the World Series. He didn't even make it out of the second inning with the Dodgers down 4-0. Darvish was done after Jose Altuve's double off the left center wall that was the Astros' fifth hit in the second inning. Kent Maeda took over with two on and two outs, and got Carlos Correa for an inning-ending flyout. Yuli Gurria led off the Astros second by sending a nearly 95 miles per hour fastball into the Crawford boxes in left field to give the Astros the first run of the game. Josh Reddick, without an extra base hit his first 54 plate appearances this offseason, then followed with a sharp double down the left field line. After Evan Gaddis drew a walk, Reddick scored when Marwin Gonzalez hit a ball that ricocheted off the wall in left center beyond the reach of leaping center fielder Chris Taylor. Gonzalez got only a single since Gattis stopped at second base after holding up to see if the ball would be caught. The first time Darvish ever pitched on the road against the Astros was when he was with the Texas Rangers. The right-hander from Japan retired the first 26 batters he faced on April 2, 2013. Darvish's bid for a perfect game ended when Gonzalez hit a single through the pitcher's legs and into center field with two outs in the ninth inning. With the Rangers, Darvish was 4-1 with a 2.16 era in six road starts against the Al West rival Astros. He struck out 56 and walked 11 in those games. In his first World Series start, Darvish faced 12 batters. He gave up the homer, three doubles and two singles, includes the one by Gonzalez that went about 373 feet.